It's been 15 years since visionary Vern Van Winkle made his dream of starting a television station here in Pahrump come true. Stronger than ever, KPVM now has four channels of quality programming, local news, and offers everything from print advertising, corporate videos, social media, to digital audio engineering and recording. All right, we uh, have here a great uh, signature on the wall. This was uh, presented 15 years ago to the building when we basically started KPVM, and today is our 15th anniversary of providing service to the town of Pahrump. So we'd like to thank everybody out there in Pahrump for watching and tuning in for those 15 years. And I can tell you the 15 years have gone by so fast, I cannot even believe it. But uh, it has been 15 years since uh, Channel 41 went on the air, and uh, very proud to help the community with their communications here at the broadcast station. And we hope you, out there enjoy what we're doing for you on a daily basis so congratulations to uh, you all for helping us make this a success at KPVM TV for the last 15 years and uh, it's really wonderful and I have something for you guys I don't have a lot but I have uh, quite a few if we come over here and follow me over here okay this is the San Gennaro's feast and this weekend is the San Gennaro's feast big event September 11th through the 16th I have passes uh, for four dollars off if you'd like to go and i have some vip passes as well lots of them so if you would like to have any of those uh give us a call here at the station at 727-9400 uh tomorrow uh that's uh wednesday's tomorrow or is today wednesday today's wednesday okay boy you lose our dates and times you have to contact uh jason i'll leave him with jason and uh actually i'll leave him with monique uh, Monique will have them and uh, we'll give her the passes and if you'd like to get a couple of passes to go to the event if we still have VIP passes we'll give you those don't have to wait in line just go right into the feast hand them to them and you're right in these are a real good advertiser of ours they take care of us and we're taking care of them so uh, just for a little thank you out there for watching and giving us 15 years we're gonna give you some uh, VIP free passes to get into the event and uh, I have some four dollars off as well so whatever you like just let us know and uh, happy birthday to uh, KPVM TV for the last 15 years serving the community, and we're very happy to be here. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Got to go. Lunchtime. All right, go. Well, after following in Vern's footsteps, you know, it's like a long time to go. 15 years is a long time, and I've been here for a year and a half, and I want to say I've had a, quite a ride. Thanks to Vern and his KPVM. Happy anniversary, Vern. Well, should I say happy anniversary, KPVM? Well, 15 years KPVM has been going strong. And I've been here since uh, 2006, actually, almost uh, six and a half years now at this point. I can tell you that I'm very proud to be here. KPVM has been a big part of Pahrump, and Pahrump has been a big part of KPVM. I want to wish KPVM and our whole family and our wonderful team that we have here a very, very happy 15th anniversary. KPVM, happy anniversary, 15 years. I can't hardly believe it. I came here November 18th, 2001, stayed for about four years, had to go off and do some things with the government taking care of some zombies that are running around here. I'm sure a lot of you know about that now. We're all Hollywood now, drinking vodka in the middle of the day while I'm doing work. Got to get back there to uh, my phone. Britney Spears is calling soon, but it's been a great run. We're only getting better, and thanks for your support, Pahrump. Come on up and have a piece of the cake. We're having cake, right? <laughs> oh, whatever. Happy anniversary. Hi, this is Shane Corson from Let's Talk Graphics. And hey, happy anniversary, KPVM, 15 years. That's good. Very good. Proud of you. I'll never forget my first day at KPVM. I came into this hallway, as a matter of fact, and they sat me down in a chair right about here. This wasn't on the wall yet. However, we did start out as 41. And I sat here, and I was waiting for Vern to show up for an interview and I remember I was really nervous and kind of starstruck because there was all these people here in TV and I was just kind of intimidated because I was a newbie and uh, I was actually coming up here to start a show called Tourist Time. Some of you may remember that. I did that with Mary King and that started in 1998. The station started in 1997 and the first broadcast for news I think was done out of a garage and now we're in 8,000 square feet. Wow, only in Pahrump, right? So everyone, we just want to say thank you so much for your support. We love you here at KPVM. We love that you watch us every day. And Vernon, congratulations and happy anniversary on 15 years at KPVM. Where do you want to go? 
Happy birthday, KPVM TV. 15 years and going strong. Keep on going. All right, I met Vern Van Winkle actually 16 years ago. I sat down next to him at a dinner and he told me he was going to build a TV station. I said, fine, hire me. So I went to work. We broadcast from his mother's garage and the rest is history. Well, that story was from a few days ago earlier this week, so Vern's comment about the San Gennaro Feast isn't still valid, but whoever got those tickets, we hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, here's Deanna now with your news across Nevada. The Bureau of Land Management generated $194,828.50 during its quarterly oil and gas competitive lease sale held in Reno on September 11th, selling 20 parcels that comprised of 32,328 acres. The sale high bid of $34,578 for a 19,020-acre parcel at $18 per acre sold in Nye County. The high bid per acre was $19 for nine for 1,030 acre parcel in Nye County. Leases are for a period of 10 years with an annual rental of $1.50 per acre for the first five years and $2 an acre after that until production begins. Once a lease is producing, a royalty of 12.5% is charged. Nearly half the bid and rental receipts go to the state of Nevada. The next quarterly oil and gas sale is scheduled for December 11th of this year. The sale will feature parcels in the BLM Winnemucca and Carson City districts. Nevada Secretary of State Ross Miller is traveling to the Middle East with U.S. Department of Defense officials this week to gain firsthand knowledge of military and overseas voting issues. Miller and fellow Secretaries of State held extensive meetings to discuss voter outreach efforts for U.S. citizens living abroad and collaboration to resolve barriers to voting. The program is in place to ensure successful absentee voting during the election year. Las Vegas area home prices are up for the seventh month in a row, while the number of homes sold in August is significantly down from a year ago. The Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors reports Tuesday that the median price of a single-family home that sold in August was about $138,000, up about 4% from July and 15% from late last August. The group reports about 3,750 homes, condominiums, and townhomes were sold in August, up from about 3,570 in July, but down from last August nearly re record of nearly 4,700. A fan of Muhammad Ali's has acquired an important piece of memorabilia, the boxing great's boyhood home. A Louisville realtor says that a Las Vegas real estate investor closed on the property on Monday. The investor paid a total of $70,000 for the small white house with a sagging front porch overhang in a western Louisville neighborhood. The new owner wants to restore the home to how it looked when, they, when Ali, better known as Cassius Clay back then, lived in it. In front of the one-story home is a state historical marker. He may turn the home into a museum or use it for some charitable functions. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Wendy Barnett from Utilities Inc. is remaining hopeful that the new owner of Willow Creek Golf Course will clean up the ponds as ordered by a judge. The golf course closed its doors in August of 2009 and shortly thereafter Jim Scott took over at the operations at the golf course then as an entity called Ashland and he did not take care of the golf course and the golf courses the ponds in particular turned bad the water is bad in them it was such a concern that citizens started complaining Nye County um, Emergency Services came out and uh, sampled the water and that five of the ponds had fecal coliform uh, levels that were unhealthy and um, asked that the ponds be cleaned up. At that time then of course the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection got involved, the Public Utilities Commission of Nevada got involved, they did their own investigations and in each of those independent in investigations they found that the ponds were unhealthy and that was due to them being unmaintained and not cleaned. Stagnant water will uh, cause bacteria. They all found that uh, the wastewater treatment plant three at Utilities Inc. of Central Nevada was compliant. In fact, at the time that Nye County Services came out, uh, we provided test results 
Those test results are done by an independent lab that show that the fecal coliform levels for many months, many years, had been at non-detect for the plant. Maybe I should talk a little bit about the plant operation. The influent, which is the raw sewage, comes into the plant and goes through an entire process all the way through this plant where it goes through several different processes. It's a biological process where uh, it's treated and broken down. Uh, the end stages are filtration, chlorination, and UV disinfection. So by the time it leaves the plant, it's disinfected and fecal coliforms are normally at a non-detect level. The pond water, and that's where our responsibility ends, is right where it leaves the plant. At that point, our discharge permit is no longer in effect, and the discharge permit that the, the golf course holds is in effect. We both have discharge permits from uh, the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection. The golf course is in violation of their permit. UICN is not. They have let the ponds grow stagnant. And when they let ponds grow stagnant, maybe I'll read this from the water engineer from the Public Utilities Commission of Nevada. In review of the lack of pond maintenance by Willow Creek Golf Course, it is no surprise that fecal coliform concentrations are at the levels found by Nye County Emergency Services. Whenever water courses have unrestricted access and become stagnant, fecal coliform microorganism concentrations increase drastically. So that's from an engineer instead of from someone who's not an engineer. There you go. <laughs> so he's been ordered to clean up the ponds, Jim Scott has. He had a couple businesses that uh, he was going on the name of, under, but the judge has specifically said that he will throw him in um, jail if he does not do this. Yes, yes he has. I, the, um, Justice Rose from the 5th District Court of, of, the, of the State of Nevada mm -hmm. uh, has uh, found both Jim Scott and his companies uh, guilty and ordered them to remediate the ponds. In fact, this first order came out in 2009, so this is something we've been dealing with for a long time. Uh, in the August 2nd hearing, mm -hmm. the judge said to Mr. Scott, I'll just read it so I get the judge's words right. Judge Rose sent a clear message to Jim Scott with the establishment of a hearing date in early September to review progress stating that, at the time I will have no hesitancy to put you in jail. I can only put you in jail for 25 days, but I can do that time and time again if it continues. I don't know what I have to do to get your attention, Mr. Scott, but I'm going to get it whatever it takes. Well, more local news to come after the break. Please keep it here.